Hi, it's Mark with NHAVFD.com. This is an ABB ACH 580 series drive. I'm just going to show you how to program a simple follower circuit. So if you'd find this in building automation systems for start, stop, uh, reference input, status output, things like that. So the first thing you're going to have to do is hit the uh, menu button, go to primary settings, highlight HVAC quick setup, and then it's going to ask you a series of questions. Uh, the first thing it's going to ask is where you want your start stop and we're saying DI1, that's fine. Uh, the primary reference is from analog input number one and that's fine. Uh, if you had to scale it, uh, change it from a 4 to 20 to a 0 to 10 or something like that, hit the uh, right arrow one time and then you can change the range. Uh, so if we edit that we can change uh, from a 0 to 10, 2 to 10, 4 to 20, so on and so forth. So it's got a lot of choices there. So we'll cancel out of that. We'll leave it for 0 to 10, and the, in the range is 0 to 60 hertz. After that's done, you can uh, decide whether you want to use a start interlock. Right now it's programmed for a start interlock on DI4. I have a switch made already, so it's not in alarm. Um, but if you wanted to change that, you could hit unselect, and it will disable it for you. If you hit the down arrow, again, you'll run into a run permissive signal. This is similar to a, a run enable where that needs to be made before the drive will run. Uh, you can adjust your minimum frequency, your acceleration time, deceleration time, your stop mode. If you wanted to run it, let's say a, a ramp to stop for a pump or something like that, that's where you do this. Save that. And then uh, hit the down arrow again. And then we can hit our motor data. I don't want to change any of these because the motor is the next time we start. It's probably now that I think about it. It's probably going to do it or try to do a, a motor ID run. And if it does, we'll have to redo this video. <laughs> uh, anyways, you would you would see the uh, you can enter in the motor current, motor RPM, motor voltage, motor frequency, the type of motor that you're running. Uh, the horsepower, power factor, and torque. And then you're back to the beginning. So once you jump out of that, it'll save all those parameters, and then you can hit the down arrow again. You can enter your date and time. Uh, it's for a real-time clock, so you can use that for scheduling, or if you were trying to troubleshoot a drive, drive you can get a, a, a time date stamp on the, on the fault code, fog, or the fault logger. Um, this is where you can adjust your communication for, let's say, BACnet or N2, uh, FLN, things like that, are all embedded on the, on the drive. So you can run those protocols on this drive standard. This is where you would change that information. Um, and then we're back to the beginning. So back out of that, back out, and then we're done. We're ready to go. That's it.